Ooh. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder if he gets that more from his tennis background or his table tennis background. Ooh. All right, we got Georgia Johnson versus Rachel Rohrabacher here. Pretty even matchup. He just clapped four times. Never seen anything like that before. I think in the, in the female singles game, it's important to be able to change up that ball, change the pace, change the spin. players on this court too and it's it's so fun to see them from doubles to singles just the way that they perform yep. on their own. Incredible. 
took about eight shots, but they did eventually get to the kitchen line, and that is the goal. putting a lot of pressure on the ranchers to start off this match. Hannah, who do you know the most about in this matchup? I'm actually not too familiar with a lot of these players. Um, just me being more recent and new to the to the PPA tour, I'm definitely being exposed to a lot more of these players. But I do love watching Shneeman play. Yeah, I watch her a lot playing singles. Same with uh, Caitlin Christian there. Yep. Yeah, speaking of singles, I would say the Arizona Drive probably have a little advantage when it comes to the women's singles matchups. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Texas Ranchers have got Kwong Duong and Christian Alshon, who are great singles players, but the Arizona Drive definitely have more experienced girls. don't know this, but I, I think Caitlin Christian actually played some competitive pickleball like five or six years ago and then took a little break and kind of came back as a good singles player, but her doubles game has progressed so quickly. Five all after a missed return from Caitlin Christian there. Very effective shot, especially in women's doubles. I agree. I think it's a great way to turn a neutral point into some sort of offense. Good spot from Tina there. Sometimes placement overpowers the right shot, and that was a great example of that placement shot just behind Schneeman there. Yeah, I know. 
you got to give it to Tina Pisnik and Etta Wright. They are so solid and have been throughout the entire season at just working their way up to the kitchen line. They hardly ever miss drops or resets. Really impressive team. Everybody just takes that I one. know. <laughs> They're both on it, though. A little miscommunication. E either one of them could have had it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, good shot from Etta. Really sharp angle. Tina and Etta look very relaxed when they're at that kitchen, just being able to control the ball and place it exactly where they want. Etta goes for a little flick there. She's actually got a really good flick. I'm surprised that, that she missed that one. Good move from Lacey there. AZ Drive's got a two-point advantage over the Texas Ranchers so far. Oh, that was a good, good drop from Lacey. It's a good look. So AZ Drive, the first. Wow. That's a great rally. Lacey had a really good look. Just missed it right in the net. But a great job from Caitlin Christian on moving yeah. the ball around there. Heavy topspin dinks. Really making Tina and Etta move a lot around the court. Oh. Great put away there, guys. I don't think Tina Pisnik has missed a third shot drop in like years. <laughs> I can't even imagine her missing one. Can't wait to watch her next one though.
glove not quite high enough, giving uh, Lacey Schneeman a great opportunity for that put away overhead. Giving them a lead, 15-12. Set a little high, giving it that perfect put away shot. Hannah, what are your thoughts on a lot of the women working on backhand flicks, adding it to their game? I think it's super effective. And I mean, the women that are able to pull it off, it gives them just that new layer of options. Yep. Um, I mean, coming from squash, for me, the one hand backhand and the flick comes a little more naturally where a lot of tennis players with the two handed backhand, sometimes to get that yeah. form strength is a little too more difficult. Kristen to Anna Wright's backhand, but the rancher is able to fight it off and, and get the point. Making their way back and taking the lead now, too. It's just so hard to beat such a steady team. Not many errors, just a lot of good shot selection. Yeah, it looks like I think the drive called a timeout. And we'll be right back. And we are back at MLP in Kansas City. We've got the Texas Ranchers versus the Arizona Drive in game one. With the Ranchers leading 17-16 in the women's doubles. on the drive. A rare dink miss from Tina Pisnik there. Good lob from Caitlin Christian there. Caitlin Christian is playing very, very well on the right. She's got an incredible dink. You don't, she can take it out of the air. She can take it off bounce. Mm -hmm. She's disguising the dink very well, too. Going cross court and down the line with the same look.
So many great shots in there. Nothing was attackable no. until the very end. I feel like all those things were so aggressive, too. None of them were babied. They were all putting their full effort into them. Tina and Caitlin are playing a very similar game right now. Just a really solid right side game. A lot of resets, a lot of dinks. Just waiting for their partner to get some sort of opportunity to create some aggressiveness. Back bounce there. It's a really patient pickleball from both sides here. Incredible. And I feel like the higher level, too, when there's nothing else you can do. You just have to wait for that opportunity and be patient. Yep. All right, 20 all. This is what it comes down to for the first game in this matchup. Good spot there by Ed Wright. Another incredible rally in that lob, opening up the court, change it up from that dink rally. We've seen it a couple times now from the Arizona Drive, but not too many lobs from uh, in the ranchers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good attack from Tina there. When it comes to these long dink battles, the Texas Ranchers just have a small edge over the AZ Drive. Tina and Ed have not missed a dink in a long time. And they just keep wearing the, the drive down.
Great speed up by Lacey there. One game point saved. We're at <laughs> that was an incredible point, again. Wow. Better right, just controlling that rally, staying in it, keeping the pressure on, but just missing that, well, that deep. For women's doubles, this is a lot of surprisingly long dink battles. So we've got a one-point game here. Easy drop, time to tie it up. the idea from Caitlin there. All right, game point number two for the ranchers to take a 1-0 lead. With us, we have got the men's doubles matchup. Christian Alshon and my man Avatar Kwong Duong versus Dylan Frazier and Andre Deskew. AZ take the first point. with that that put away in the middle. again. We saw it a lot earlier today. I'm going to give a quick shout out to QD for his quick improvement in his doubles game. He is not just a singles player anymore. Love, but Frazier was on that one, getting it right back down.
Oh, nice. Wow, that was an incredible rally. Great patience all around there. But yes, I've played against all four of these guys, and I'm starting to realize the trend here. I have not had a win on <laughs> any of them. I know, I know what you're thinking. No wonder you're a commentator. It's about right. AZ starting off strong, got a 6-3 lead over the ranchers here. drive and that ball not knowing if it was going to go over or not. Alshon was on it and put it away. Good hands from the avatar there. Put a lot of pressure, especially when you approach the net like that, having a big body and a lot of power on your shots. and then popping it up for Andre to put away. That's a big thing too in doubles pickleball. You gotta be able to communicate with your partner, talk about whose middle ball it is. Good little accidental drop shot there from QD. from QD there. I would have hit that ball 100%. Yeah. yeah. I think the Arizona Drive is testing QD's dinking skills, and he is doing just fine. He is. He's definitely improved a lot in his doubles game. Ooh. That's a single shot, QD. You can't miss those. Unable to get out of the way, Griffin is on there. Pretty close matchup so far and some incredible rallies. It is a hot day in Kansas City. Yeah. Another quick shout out to Kwong Duong's brother, Bao. He's wearing about a three foot diameter cowboy hat to support his brother. Yeah. 
Oh. Quang Duong for getting, we're doing rally scoring here. Wow, yeah. that's an incredible drop by Frazier. He has to look in the dead, get that next ball, closing it in. With one big step, yeah. Andre is pretty much on the other side of the court there. Ambitious from Alshon there. To be fair, I feel like he hasn't gotten all the credit he deserves for coming in with a less experienced player like Kwong and playing in Christian Alshon electing to play the right side. Scoring games to 25, switching sides at 13. Oh, good serve and third by Kwong Duong. Christian Alshon just couldn't convert. So we go to the changeover at 13 9, AZ Drive. Ask you wishes he uh, attacked that ball instead of tried to reset it. Wow, good flick from Kwong Duong. If you follow his social media, uh, you can tell he's been working on that shot really hard, very diligent. A lot of power, too, with yeah. that, which is sometimes hard to get with that, that backhand flick. Yeah. He's got the two-hand counter and the one-hand flick now, which is a big part of why his doubles game has improved so quickly. He also trains probably harder than anybody in the game, so him and Christian Alsan, to be fair. Probably the fifth ATP that Kwong Duong has given to Andre Deescu. I think he needs, with his heavy topspin, I think he needs to be a little careful mm. with how far wide he hits that. Especially Andre, the way he's taking that, he's putting some slice on with, and then Alshon's popping it up, setting him up for that overhead. Yep. So. Dylan wanted that backhand again, but Andre reaches in and takes the forehand. Taking lead 16 11, five point difference here. Wow, they actually switch with Christian Alshon playing the left side. I think it's a great idea just to give the team a different look, just to change every, every shot up of just a hair. Let's see if they do it again. Good return from Kwong Duong. 
in rally scoring, I'd, I'd say it's always my biggest struggle is committing to an aggressive return because I just don't want to miss it and give up a point. Yeah. But, but then, hey, if you hit that aggressive return, I mean, you get the point. So same with that aggressive serve, too. Ooh. It's a good leave. The ball is sailing. Point game now. It's time for ranchers to close the difference a little bit. Great reach, yeah. great flick. Yes, perfect spot. Out wide there, and then he saw a bit of a high ball and saw the opening in the middle. That's a there sixth one. Again, yeah. And I don't think it's worked out in their favor, but maybe yeah. one time. I think it's the off pace ATP, too. A lot of people hit that almost as hard as they can. Yep. You're right, it's more of a setup shot than, yeah. a, than a finishing shot. Yeah. Such a Great good drive. serve and drive. That's what he does best. And they're I closing that gap, too. I mean, it's 18 19. They were down yep. about five points. And and again, he reaches in. Wow. I think it's an underutilized shot from a right side player, assuming that it's two right handers playing together like it is right there. It's been a bit of a momentum. Patience from Andre. Discipline, some very fast hand battles, too. Watch. Oh. Wow. Rangers now taking the lead. 21 20. I think it's for the first time in this matchup, I think. Oh, 
close. Just deep though. Christian Alshon is not getting many balls when all four players are at the kitchen line. They are definitely testing Avatar's dinking. to all. Another close match too, especially with the rally scoring. Wow, good spot. Probably going a few feet deep. Yeah, I don't think Frazier could get out of the way. No. This is me and Hannah's second match that we're commentating, and we have not seen a blowout game yet. They've all been tight. Oh. That ball was there. That's his favorite shot. Yeah. 23-23. Big point. Who gets the first game point after this? Oh, nice. Good aggressiveness from QD. Wow, Texas Ranchers could get their first chance to take this game and a 2-0 lead going into the mixed doubles. bit of everything that point great job from the AZ drive to stay with it and save the game point so now the teams must win by two it's 24 24 Ranchers with another attempt to secure game two here. Oh. Net cord. Just wide. Yep. Yeah. Net cord. Pulled it just a little wide. I wonder sometimes when the games get this close, do you think the players get nervous? Do you think they're distracted by the adrenaline rush? I think some get nervous for sure. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good speed up there. It's a very risky speed up, but it paid yeah. off for Alshon. All right, yeah. third game point for the Texas Ranchers. Yeah, third time's a charm. Yep. We'll see, though. Oh, he misses it. A little eager here, I think, to close off the game, but you still got to stay patient until that very, very, very last point. No freebies. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Uh oh. That's All right. Freebie. Yeah, Arizona have their first game point. And I think we've got a timeout from the Texas Ranchers here. Tight game. This is a big game right here for who goes either 2-0 or tied up 1-0. That's a massive difference going into mixed. 
What do you think it's going to come down to, Hannah? I mean, I think it's going to come down to who's going to stay more patient um, and earn that point rather than being aggressive and wanting to finish it faster just to get off that court. So, I mean, we saw a lot of long rallies earlier on, and the last couple points have been faster. A couple more errors. Maybe some players are getting nervous, a little more tight, and so you got to play pickleball confident, and uh, we'll see what happens. 27-26, Arizona Drive with their first attempt to close out this game. And another ATP. That is probably the eighth, maybe ninth ATP that Kwong Duong set up for DSQ. And it earns Arizona Drive the win. And very, very confident at the kitchen line with, and very patient with her dinks. But DSQ's got incredible reach. So I'm wondering if he's going to take over this side of the court. Wow, well, that point definitely started off a match that I think might be very close if the players continue to play like that. A lot of incredible gets. Do you have a prediction for this match? I am really high on Christian Alshon's mixed game, mm -hmm. and I feel the same about Etta Wright's. So yeah. I'm going to give maybe a slight advantage to the Texas Ranchers, but Andre and Lacey are also really solid players, so it could go either way. Good, put away from Lacey there. It's a great spot from Alshon. Incredible ball placement there. It's a shot that he does not intend to win the point on. He's really kind of setting up the next shot. Um, but if he wins it off the first shot, even better. Good reach from Andre there. He can cover 75% of the court with just a little stutter step. I think maybe what the viewers at home can't pick up on is just how daunting Christian and Andre are. When they're covering the middle of the court, they're reaching into the kitchen. It's like if you don't hit the perfect shot, they are going to make you pay for it. Yeah, no, that's very, very true. I feel like that's the difference at the higher level, like being able to hold your ground and not being scared of that ball. Not backing up off that kitchen line either, holding your ground. Great put away there by Schneeman. She's got a lot of power too in yes. that forehand. Wow. It's 
that spot backhand. in the court might have looked open, but yeah. Christian was hoping that they hit it right there. Oh. Same, like a very similar one, but that one he, uh, he just missed. I think he was outstretched a little too much. Oh, it's a good setup. <laughs> In doubles, the intention for that speed up typically is to set up that next shot, not necessarily for that instant winner, which yep. you just saw right there. He set up the next ball. Christian is up. really good at doing that. Maybe third time that Edo's kind of won the dink battle between her and Lacey. Really great moving from Andre. Just probably put half a toe in the, in the kitchen line there. Good shot there by the SQ. Good ATP there. Something that I really like about Andre Deescu's game is when he's coming to the kitchen, he just kind of hits a small little easy backspin drop. He hardly ever misses it. Such a repeatable shot, and it gets him to the kitchen immediately, and then he can kind of work the point from there. It's something I've been working on, kind of taking from Andre's game there. that ball up, Alshon pulling over and putting it away. Christian Great putting guys. himself in a very awkward spot, but he gets out of it and lets the ball go. Texas Ranchers take a 13-8 lead as we change sides. Unlucky for the AZ drive off that net cord. So looking at the league standings, we have got the Texas Ranchers are the number two ranked team right now with a total of 29 points, averaging 1.93 points per match. And the AZ driver in ninth out of 12th place. They've got 10 points and an average point of one per match.
put away from DSQ. Just as a reminder for how these points work this season, each team will get three points for a regulation win, going either 4-0 or 3-1. You get two points for winning in the Dream Breaker, one point for losing in the Dream Breaker, and zero for a regulation loss without making it to Dream Breaker. Looks like AZ Drive might want to challenge this call. Worst case, they get a timeout from it. does look like it's just a hair wide. Again, that ball is coming fast. Very hard to see in real time. And again, worst case, they just get a timeout from it. They're down by seven. They don't have a whole lot to lose, to be honest. Call stands. That ball was just a little wide. The one he misses. Two really good gets from Christian Alshon there. counter from DSQ there. I like to the speed up from Christian Alshon though. Wow, what an angle from Christian. Really good wrist flexibility there to hit that shot that far to the right. And the AZ drive now down by seven. They really need to make a run soon. Good put away from Lacey there. Christian is hitting a lot of bait shots and they've been working they were working really well at the beginning. Now they're working a little bit less often deeper into this match. Oh no. Wow. Andre can't believe it. That was a great idea though. He put a lot of pressure on the Texas Ranchers coming in strong, hitting that that drive. There. 
GSQ. Good put away from Christian Alshon there. We're now at a six point game, which is a little tricky to come back from. A little miscommunication there. Had a thought Christian was going to take that. Good move there by Alshon. It's really effective when that guy can pull over and take that forehand and get that ball down. Just a hair deep. Good flick from Andre. Mm -hmm. Wow. I really think Lacey should be should start going behind Christian a couple yeah. times. I don't think she's done it once this whole match, and Christian just keeps on creeping over. Yeah. Well, that is a, that is a smart play. Texas Ranchers now with their first chance to secure this game, 24-17. One game point saved. The Andrews are now frozen at 24. Oh, good setup. Right, another chance here for the Texas Ranchers to secure this game. Similar to the last point. Got to get their, get up to the kitchen line and create the points like they were before. Nice job. Play by Shneeman. I hadn't seen her speed up too Dwong and Pisnik versus Frazier and Christian. 0-0. Zero, zero. A little unlucky for Arizona drive on that first point. Big serve attempt from Kwong Dwong there. Oh. Good patience from Tina for that ATP. Kwong almost finished it off.
Oh. Not sure what happened there from QD. Good low drive from Dylan Frazier, though. Avatar might have thought it was going to hit the net. Four different net balls there. Great hands by Corn Dong. Good move there. For Caitlin Christian. Oh, Kwong Dong tries to rail it, but luckily misses it. He'll say it was on purpose. It was not, I can <laughs> tell. It was a fake. <laughs> I'm curious if Tina's going to miss a third the whole game. I'm going to watch closely, very yeah. closely. I'm um, Tina. I'm very curious. here for the Arizona Drive. Wow. Good spot there. Great resets by Fiznik. I mean, that's one thing in this sport. If you're able to reset that ball and neutralize the point without popping it up, it's very impressive. Yep. That's what she does so well, and that's, yeah. that's why she's got a few different medals and mix on the PPA tour. Ooh, just missed that. I mean, she had two or three before that, though. That were great resets. Yeah, Dylan continued to uh, apply a lot of pressure there to Tina. Really solid playing from Dylan on the left. Wow, good hands. All right, we're at an 8 5 lead for the Arizona Drive here. Straddling the kitchen line there. I like the move. Taking the lead 10 6 and rally scoring games to 25, switching sides at 13. 
that serve is just deep. Let's see if the Texas Rangers can bring it back. Great point from the drive there. Caitlin Kristen really likes that that backhand, Ernie. Yeah, she's looking for it, and she's quick enough too to recover. Mm -hmm. So even if she doesn't get it, she's back in that point. Yeah, and Dylan knows she's going for it. He's covering middle of the court. Yeah. Ranchers need to do to get back in this game, close that gap. It's tough. Caitlin Christian's great at dinking cross court. I wouldn't want to get into a, uh, a dinking battle with her. Yeah. Honestly, I think maybe going behind Dylan might be a, yeah. a better option. His forehand is incredibly sneaky. I think his backhand just lacks a little bit of aggressiveness, a little bit of offense. Kaylin Christian is looking for that Ernie. I wonder if lobbing over her could True. be uh, a move that might catch him off guard. That's a good point. And Kwong's done it a few times in this in this yeah. uh, match. That was a great point. So many good shots in there. Nothing was attackable. No ball was left up. Just a lot of well-placed, aggressive dinks. And then one shot that goes a little bit too wide. It's a good look, though. Staying aggressive, moving in on that ball. Good hands from QD there. And now we're at just a two point game, 12 to 14.
Easy drive. If they win this match, this, this uh, matchup will go to a dream breaker. loves his two-hand backhand counter. He's got so much power coming off of it. Pisnik, so steady. They were in a bad situation. Tina found a way to get him out of it and then finishing off with a with an overhead. Arizona calling a timeout after having the lead. And the Texas Ranchers have made a comeback, putting some pressure back on the drive. We are back at MLP, sponsored by Margaritaville. We've got the Arizona Drive versus the Texas Ranchers. A very close mixed doubles match, 15-15. Wow, I could spot from Tina. Yeah. A little off, off pace. pace yep. Such a good shot to add to your game if you don't already have it. Yeah, I think players sometimes are anticipating that ball coming super fast, and then when it's that off pace, it throws them off just slightly. looking for that a lot and she definitely has hit it a couple times but that was a very good one by her. Just a note for all you pickleball players that are kind of new to the pro pickleball scene. Uh, there is hope for everybody. Dylan Frazier started as a 3-5 player. He's now the number one doubles player in the world. drive staying in it but the pressure from the Texas ranchers was just a little too much ranchers take a one-point lead in this game Oof.
Good patience from the ranchers there. They take back their one point lead. It was going probably five feet out maybe. Good flick from QD there. by Dillon there, taking the ball out of the air, taking away time from their opponents. Dillon's third shot drive is very low, I think, which throws off the people at the kitchen line, not knowing if it's going to clip the net or not. Yep. Yeah, Dillon doesn't really get a lot of topspin, so with his drive, it has to stay low or else it's yeah. going... Is that the first miss forehand from Caitlin Christian? Yeah. This game? been very, very consistent yeah. today. Oh. Wong had it set up perfectly. Tied up at 22. It's oh. a good shot there by Kong Dong, noticing that she's backing up. Just a couple feet off that kitchen line and finding that dipping ball. Dylan Frazier there. Yeah. 23-23. This next point is crucial, giving one of the teams an advantage to secure this game. Great point there, great ATP, ATP defense. Getting back to neutral, and then a rare miss dink from Tina. So AZ Drive will have first opportunity to take this game to a dream breaker. Timeout was called. 
really important point coming up. Can they bring it to a dream breaker? Or the rancher's gonna have an opportunity to close it out. What do you expect the AZ Drive to do on this first game point? You know, I think if they keep playing the way that they're playing and they stay patient, they don't try and go in and win it off two shots, I think they're going to take this one home. I think she probably thought Dylan was going to yeah. take that one. I thought Dylan was going to take it too. It was a little high, but it's 24-24. Teams must win by two. Oh, yet another ATP opportunity from Kwong Duong to Dylan Fraser. Barely hits the net post. All right, Texas Ranchers, their first chance to take home this whole match. 25-24, leading 2-1. Tina was going to finish it right there. I did too. Crazy drive still in it. It's tied at 25 all. Must win by two and must win on your serve. Good job from Kwong. Heavy top spin. It's just hard to, hard to judge how it's going to bounce and hard to hit a perfect drop off of. Going out, Tita hit it. A great setup, though. Oh, what a tight point! This is what you love as a pickleball fan, right here. Tied up at 26 all. Anticipation by Caitlin. Replay. Wild. What a point to give them the, the lead. 27 26. If they win this, we are going to a dream breaker. Wow. Good spots there by Kong Dong. We're tied again at 27 27. Can they do it on this 
match ball. Finish it off. Great playing from the ranchers and the AZ drive. 29-27. Do you love the back and forth? Yeah. That was an incredible matchup. Women's doubles, men's doubles, and both mixed. Very close games. So ranchers take it three to one.